Well, hey, Pipers, welcome back to the Bass Piper channel. Hey, Rumble, welcome back. I am uh, sitting here in my garage on a rainy Saturday afternoon in Virginia, and I'm trying for the first time a Perdomo 10th anniversary champagne. The glare, the, the light's not the best, but maybe you can see that. And I've got it, I got it in a Churchill. Now, Churchills are not Bass Piper's favorite size. I'm gonna try to get situated here. I usually like Rebustos, uh, Rebustos, I'll get it out right in a minute, and Toros. Um, but the brick and mortar only had this one in a Churchill, and I said, well, let me just try one. But uh, if you've never tried the Perdomo um, Champagne, 10th anniversary, try one. They are very good. They're very creamy, uh, very easy. They're, they're a low, low strength, uh, mild, basically, is what they are. But um, I wanted to try one to see if I liked it, and I do. They're very, very good. I've never had a Perdomo cigar. and um, But I know Nick Perdomo. I've seen a lot of his YouTube uh, videos and I've seen a lot of his factory and touring of his stuff and I tell you they're you know they're one of the main families out there they do pretty much spot on uh, manufacturing of their cigars and uh, you can't go wrong with a uh, you know an Arto Ferrente or Padron or Perdomo and all these major players um, out there but um, if you, um, my camera wants to keep sliding here, my phone, I've got you propped up on a box, so I don't have my stand out here. But um, if you've never tried uh, the Perdomo, give it a shot. Um, they're reasonably priced, uh, along with some of the other manufacturers that are out there. There's some a lot more expensive than, than Perdomo. But Perdomo kind of keeps theirs within a good price point for the premium cigars but um i don't know if i'll be able to get through all of this uh, churchill <laughs> for right now i mean they tell you to a lot at least two hours for a churchill base piper don't know if i got that long to sit here and and, and go through all of it i might get an hour and a half in but uh anyway um I, now I understand why they tell you to uh, pick your cigar. And uh, I even know now why they have cigarellos um, for a time. Uh, sorry, guys. I lost you. Hold on a minute. There we go. The mailman's coming by, and I'm trying to get this uh, light off of me, this glare. Base Piper ain't got a hat, so my so my head is my head is shining. Let me see if I can do this. Hold on a minute, guys. You are seeing my hand? That ain't helping, is it? But if I darken it a little bit, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. Um. When I'm looking at upgrading to an iPad, uh, a newer iPad, and um, I'm going to start making my videos on that and getting me the big, big wide grip to hold an iPad on my stand. And um, I um, want to get rid of the phone concept and um, get a bigger profile where I can see things a little better but I just come out here just for a minute just to uh, just to show you this champagne it's very nice that the Podomo 10th anniversary champagne is a good cigar I feel like as I'm talking my body's going down farther and farther to now I'm just gonna have a head shot down the bottom of the thing um, if you don't hold this just right I got wind blowing here today too, and that ain't helping coming through the garage. But uh, 
hey guys, I just want to mention to you real quick, thank you so much for those who responded yesterday to my uh, um, senior moments that I talked about the um, the cigar, I mean the cigar, the church is, the church and uh, the world situations a little bit. Uh, I'm going to set my my cigar on my little my lighter it's got a little cigar stand and I'm just gonna come over here and hold this crazy thing because it keeps sliding there we go let's see if we got it here um, but I just want to uh, thank you guys for um, making the comments I've got some good comments and compliments on that and uh, wasn't trying to ruffle anybody's feathers, just trying to speak some truth. And um, let me give you a shot real quick of what I'm outside, what I'm seeing. And you can see the houses and the trees blowing up there, and we got some wind and rain and mess coming through. So. Um, I hope you saw the trees. I hope I had it at the right angle. I didn't show you the top of my garage door trying to ha hold this thing. But I uh, got some nice compliments and things. And uh, But, you know, it, it's time, guys, that we just take a stand the best we can um, and, and do everything we can to protect ourselves and our country and to speak out on the craziness that's going on. And, uh, and especially what they're trying to do to our 40, uh, 45th president. Um, it's, just, it's just unbelievable how they have weaponized the judicial system. Um, and that's all it is. You know, they're in power and they're doing everything you would basically thought of a third world country. Uh, as they want to call it, the banana republic. And... Uh, so, you know, I, um, I didn't mean to go off in so much of a rant yesterday, but, but I tell you, um, coming off the study of Revelation that I was on with my church, it just happened to just fall in place, um, as I said, with what Corvette Jim had put out uh, yesterday morning concerning, I believe it was a library or it might have been a church, but I think it was a library or a school or something that's opening up their classes to the, um, to the transgender uh, caliber people that they're being allowed to go in there and teach stuff and show books and, talk and, and read books and mess to our children. And it's the indoctrination process that they're doing. There's no education to it. They're just trying to warp our kids that will eventually become warped adults. And so, uh, which in turn becomes a warped United States. So, uh, just think, if we don't fix this problem, add about 10 to 20 more years onto your life if you're still living what the world's going to be like. And just think, these are the ones that's going to be giving you health care and taking care of you when you're old. That's a scary thought, isn't it? So, we have really come under a spiritual attack in our nation more than we've ever seen it. So anyway, I appreciate the comments and the compliments, and uh, I'm going to get off of here. But I just wanted to um, share with you just a few minutes. I happened to pull that Perdomo out today. I said, you know, I think I'll try that and see what that's like and, and put, a little, put a little video out. And to uh, if anybody's never tried them, uh, or even if you have tried the Perdomo champagne, let me know your thoughts in the ash hole uh, about it. And uh, Bass Piper hadn't forgot about his pipes. I'm just trying a few of these cigars on my cigar journey. <laughs> So uh, I'll be back with the pipe here shortly, but um, I just want to try a few, kind of see what's out there. And um, but anyway, you guys have a great weekend. And um, tomorrow we got church, and we're going to have communion, and it's Palm Sunday, and next Sunday is Easter. So um, I'm speaking on the communion uh, tomorrow, and what communion is, and what it isn't. 
and uh, why it's important to correlate that along with the week, uh, Palm Sunday starting the week of uh, Easter, and uh, why we re why communion is done and why we remember it for the uh, uh, the broken body and the blood that was shed on the cross of Christ. So anyway, um, you guys have a great weekend and relax. Have your pipe or your stogie. And uh, don't forget to count the many blessings God gives us every day. Hey, you guys take care. Bye-bye.